So what do we do next? We go and check it out. Uh, we'll go to the folder and uh, double click on this so that it opens on a browser. So this opens on a browser and there we have it here, hello world. We have hello world there. So we can now start looking at some things in Bootstrap. So if we come here, now the general approach I'll take in this tutorial is that um, I'll be taking you through some things, even though we are trying to imitate this um, or clone this Udemy homepage, uh, we will not exactly get some things perfectly in the beginning so as not to make the whole process complex for you. In some cases, we just um, do basic stuff just to get by. Then as the uh, tutorial proceeds, we can come back and then um, add more flesh to it until it starts looking exactly like this all right so the first thing you notice here is that there is um there is this top navigation bar it contains the udemy logo the udemy name then a drop down then a search bar then another uh, pop drop down then another one and then an icon you see and a login and sign up buttons all right so um basically what they call this in bootstrap is navigation bar if you're coming from bootstrap 3 this will be obvious to you but if this is the first time you're uh, watching any bootstrap or taking any bootstrap course this is called a navigation bar so bootstrap already has a code that does exactly that if we go to bootstrap get bootstrap.com and we click on on documentation we will have access to all this um, documentation all right so what we're looking for basically is the navigation if you click on content um not really content but component if you click on component so from components right here uh on the components if you scroll down we're looking for nav bar look at it nav bar so if we click on nav bar we will see um how it works and then um the supported content but then there's a sample look at what it looks like and there is a sample here sample code so if we copy this sample code if you look at all the codes the code is basically html with css classes that's what bootstrap is don't worry i'll explain it in a second and we get back to this place remember that this is the body i want to make a space so that you can see this is the body and the only thing that we had in, our, in the body of our text is hello world. So if we delete that hello world, give space and then paste what we copied. Control V. Look at everything we copied. If we paste it, we can then go and check out on our browser. So if we come to our browser, instead of the hello world, we're supposed to see a navigation bar. So I'll refresh, reload. And as you can see, we have a nav bar all the way to the right it has a very nice uh, navigation bar so bootstrap basically writes most of the codes for you you can just copy and paste all right and um, the next thing we're gonna do is to change this to be udemy because if we come to udemy website if we come to udemy website We'll see that this is udemy now the other thing i have to do is to open this thing here so that we don't have to go to chrome again so if i copy this url i'm just doing it for myself i can open a new tab here and paste okay good so here we can now um change this to udemy so we're gonna come here it is here not by udemy now i'll take my time to run you through this let me just refresh this so you will see Re reload page you see it's now udemy all right now if you look at this code you'll see that it's simple to understand there is a now everything is inside this um tag called nav look at look at it ends here so everything there is inside a tag called nav now this tag called nav um everything about bootstrap generally is about classes you see there is no css here all we have is html and classes html and classes and the html and normal html that i used to know uh look at this this is a button this is a, a link a href link but it contains a a class that makes it looks like a button you see this is basically html 
and this is another HTML that is a button. All right. So if I should break this down and uh, break this down, you see that this is just a button and it has a toggler icon. This gives it an icon, which means if we come back to this place, we'll see that, um, look at, has this icon. And then this is just home. All these things are basic HTML. The only thing is that Bootstrap has already written some CSS for you. Look at the CSS file. There are a lot of CSS written inside here. And what the CSS basically does is simple. Uh, you just from here call the CSS classes. If you know the CSS classes, you use them. That's just Bootstrap. All right. So basically learning Bootstrap is just all about um, memorizing the CSS classes and what they do. All right. So in the next video, we'll analyze this and make it look closer to what we have on Udemy. Uh, what we have here on Udemy. You understand? So thank you very much. See you guys.